Miracle Beauty. So I wanted to post my May favorites. I actually, I don't think I have any fails in here. If you watch my empties video that either will be going up right before or right after this, um, I do have some things in there that I definitely decluttered because they're just not my favorite. One of them is a cream blush that is just unusable. So I wanted to make this video be more of a positive, upbeat, not hating on brands type of video. Sometimes my favorites and fails and being heavy in the fail side. So I actually have, I think, something from every category in here pretty much. Um, I really felt like I wanted to show what I was using a lot because I think that that illuminates a favorite more than it just being a liked product. When you reach for that product on a regular basis, I think that it really makes a huge difference. I think that it's it's something that is it's like when people say I'm, I'm a good person I'm a good person if you're a good person people can tell without you telling them and I feel like that's how favorites are what I use consistently all month is my favorites way more than me saying I like this product so I went into my my makeup and I said what did I use every day this year or this month what did I use the most this month like what what was the products I reach for consistently so that's what this is so bear with me as that I might be all over the place on categories but it is I think that you'll understand why so foundations I actually did use more than one foundation this month but this was used categorically across the board more than any other foundation and that is the candid I talk about this all the time it is one that looks good no matter what I am 150 creme brulee and it is literally like the perfect color it looks like my skin but better it blends easier this one actually if you look I am literally down to the bottom of it I have already traded for a brand new bottle and purchased a brand new bottle because I am terrified they are to discontinue this because the concealer and the powder suck. So I'm worried that if the foundation doesn't sell enough that they will cancel it. But I absolutely love this. It looks beautiful. It literally just melts into your skin and makes it look flawless. So that is definitely my foundation favorite for this month. For bronzers, I actually have three. Now, I want to preface this by saying one of them I receive later in the month so I don't have as much practice with it or as much use but I was reaching for it consistently so this is the take home the bronze this is um, in Oliver which I believe is not the lightest shade but is one of the lighter ones which I'm not a total bomb expert I don't know but that is what this is like a sample size I traded for and I love the way this looks on my skin it literally just makes my cheekbones pop I mean it just does exactly what I want it to do the other one I have, and this one is a favorite and a fail, I have to say. I think that Benefit is well aware of this issue. I think I am like probably the millionth person to talk about it, but this is the Hula Quickie by Benefit. Um, it is like literally my dream cream contour. I love it. It blends so easily. However, if I were to turn this upside down with it up, the stick falls out. It is so frustrating when you're using it. And, and uh, you know, as we move in whatever with makeup we turn things because we're not paying attention to that we're looking at our face and what we're doing i have dumped it out of this multiple times i probably will repurchase this if i'm transparent even with that issue because i love the formula it's all about the formula the other bronzer i have i think is probably no secret i've talked about this and everybody talks about it is the butter bronzer i this is probably the fastest i have used a bronzer other than in my pan challenge when i use the same one for three months it is just it always looks good the smell i could take or leave it does smell good it's not anything overpowering in my opinion and it doesn't last however i would be more than happy to buy it unscented i do like the product without that um for color correcting and things like that i don't always have a favorite color corrector but this one has been pretty consistent this is the becca so this is actually if you've never used it mine's getting a huge dip in it i don't know if you can see it and i actually have two of these so i have a sample that i keep in like my portable makeup bag and then i have this one but um this is more it's the consistency of almost like the nars um jarred concealer even maybe not quite as thick but it's very creamy and i put it on underneath my foundation and it does a dual thing so it covers up my black circles well at least sometimes depends on how tired i am and it moisturizes my eyes and i just feel like it really makes a real natural pretty look whereas i have the camo concealer thing from um, maybelline that's peach flavored flavored Whew, peach colored and that one I feel like never quite blends all the way out I don't care what I do I've used a brush I've used a sponge and I still know it's there I've asked other people they don't see it but I feel like I can still see a tone or a uh, shadow there so I love that one um again I'm into cream products this is the Tristique I actually got this I believe from my FabFitFun the first box I got which was the spring box I had had some Tristique lipsticks in my drawer from a Maxi Charm and Birchbox and I guess I never really use them. I'm being honest. 
it was just wasn't something that I went, oh, I have to use that. And I do have so many lipsticks. Prior to a recent sale to a friend, I think I figured out liquid lipsticks alone, I had 72. That is absolutely obscene and ridiculous. So the ones that I knew were not used and were not anything and were not my colors, I did just sell a huge batch to her because it is ridiculous to have that much. But I kept my Tristiques because this, I mean, it has a brush on the bottom. I don't care for the brush. Like you can see, I kind of attempted it one time. You can use this straight onto your face, like either under your makeup like Jamie Page does, or over your um, foundation. It doesn't smear your foundation or make it patchy or anything else. It actually works really well. And the other thing that I like about this is it's buildable. So the first time that you touch your skin, like um, one of the things I like to do if I'm putting it um, on my bare skin, like when I'm doing makeup, no makeup looks, I actually like kind of do like a twist motion and that makes it a little bit broader. But today when I was doing the new one, I wasn't, I wasn't sure, but I had never done before. I kind of just did a line and it was a totally different depth of color. It's absolutely buildable. I think it looks beautiful every time I use it. And a lot of times I will be honest, I do supplement with a powder, but I think if I'm really transparent, it's more out of habit. Like I feel like I have to versus what really needs to be done. Mascara. Oh boy. Mascara. ColourPop is not out here because I couldn't find my open bottle. I think it's in my purse, but I'm not sure. This is the Dior Shore Iconic. This is the Curve Dior. This makes my lashes look long every time. Now, I will say, if you like your mascara to do long and thick, this is not the one for you because I that's what I like my ColourPop for. My ColourPop gets them nice and thick and together, and then I use this, and it gets them long and luscious, and I love it. So that's why I love that one. A new one to me, again, I traded for one of these, and now I've traded, I think, for three of these, is the Peach Perfect Powder. This doesn't ever do me wrong, and it, like, blurs my skin. It is fantastic. The only time I have had a problem with this was I actually purchased with my Mother's Day gift card, the Ola Henderson Orange, not Orange, what is it, Banana Primer. This had a reaction to that through the foundation, and it would, like, pool and puddle. It, it, it was a freaking mess, and I couldn't figure out what it was for the longest time. Not the longest time, because I didn't keep it forever. I actually returned it. I don't care for that one. Um, for my skin, not that it's a bad primer. I know a lot of people love it, but um, I figured it out by using a different powder. I actually used a totally different brand. I used the Kylie instead of this one, and I didn't have that problem, so these two items were interacting, and I do prefer this look more than I prefer the primer, so the primer went back. Um, highlighters, I actually have two that I'm going to mention. One is from my BoxyCharm, and this is the Ofra highlighter in um, Star Island. This is, I don't know if it's going to pick up, it is just so pretty and so buttery. I hate swatches. I feel like they never come out when you swatch. Oh, I guess you can see some of that glow. And it blends really well. So one of the issues that I have with one of my PN Challenge items, it's the Givenchy highlighter. It goes on very highlighty. Like you can see it, you can everything, but it doesn't blend in with everything else. So if you look, when you put it on, it creates almost like a band of highlight. I just, I don't care for it. This blends really well. It's soft and buttery enough to be blendable, but powdery enough to maintain. The other one I want to show you, well, this is, the overall item is a favorite. I believe this might have been in my last month as well. So this is Cover Effects. This is actually a new one. I actually have two of these now. I actually traded a young lady for some, or for one, because she didn't want hers from BoxyCharm, and I desperately wanted it. So it does look like this. I'm sure you've seen these before. Almost everybody has. It's got a blush and a bronzer. This is like a finishing powder, and it actually, I thought it was going to be too pink for my skin. It actually works really well. Um... And then it's got a brightener and two highlighters. This brightener I use all the time, whether it be inner corner to, to spot on my highlight and make it a little bit more glowy, but it just works really, really well. And then the other thing I want to show that's kind of a um, culmination of products, it's not it's a palette that I made with the ColourPop, actually. Um, almost all ColourPop. So these two over here are not, I don't know if I know what the little one is. Nope, I don't know what the little one is. But the circle is actually from... Ferdinand. What is that? I know the I know the brand. Fran, I keep wanting to say Franz Ferdinand. It's not. That's so history. Finding Ferdinand. And this is in Skinny Dip. And I love that color. Actually, these two right here, the square one, or the, the little circle and the middle circle right here, actually create like the perfect blush. I don't know if you could see it, but these two right here are highlights. This is a blush, this is a blush, and that's a contour. I actually think that ColourPop makes some of the best formulations in almost everything. I'm really bummed I can't use their foundation anymore, 
because it just doesn't work for me just because I love supporting them. I recently did a brush order from them to replace some of my brushes that were getting old and needed to be tossed out. I have old Avon brushes if that touches something. I bought Avon maybe five years ago. I mean I just have a ton of even some eco tools that have just run their life and it's time to replace and they did have a brush sale so that killed my no buy for June but I feel like if it's a necessity purchase and you're replacing something that's bad I don't feel as guilty even though I wish I would have broke it. The next one I think will be no surprise. I have talked about this item I think probably 10 times on my channel. It has literally become one of my favorites. This is the pineapple of my eye one from Tarte. If you haven't seen it before, I think they still sell it when Sephora just had their sale. They had it on sale. Um, it has face ones and it's like, it kind of is a bronzy shade, but it's almost like a blush, like a deep for deeper skin tones. But for me, like I could use it as bronzer and then it's got a highlighty blush or a shimmery blush. But I want to talk about shades over here. So there is pretty much no look I couldn't do without with that. I mean, it has shimmers and they're buttery. They're so easy to use. It has mattes. It has everything I could possibly want to use. And I just really love it. As you can see, I have hit pan on one. Let's see, where's it at? Right there, I have hit pan on. And I will keep using this. I absolutely love it. I think it works fantastic. The last product that I'm going to talk on is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Spray. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like down to here, and I just got it with my Mother's Day money. So I love this. The only caveat to this, I will say, is it does kind of remind me of the Too Faced Spray, the um, Peach Perfect, not leaving white spots everybody talks about, but it is very wet. So you don't want to overdo this one. I've had Makeup Shift because I was so used to MAC or other ones like the um, All Nighter by, or not Urban Decay, what is that? Maybe it is a Rinne K. Anyways, um, the All Nighter Spray, you can kind of layer it and, it and it still stays good and looks good. Well, this one, you, I personally have not found it to be. Now, I do use almost 100% dewy foundations. I think the only matte foundation that I own is my uh, long wear from um, Laura Mercier. But it is a dewy, so when you put it over something and if you overdo it or it, it's not given the time to dry, you can end up with splotches. But... That being said, with that preface or that warning there, this looks so beautiful on the skin. It does make you glowy. It does make you have kind of like a, it's almost, it's not the wet look like at all, but it's it's in that family. That's how I'll put it. It's hard to explain, but it also has a fantastic scent. So last weekend, my kids and I posted actually a video of them doing my makeup. They actually want to redo it again this week and have my little son guide my bigger son and, and that sort of thing we do tend to have a lot of fun together and they want to post that in that video my two sons both were like I want to use that one I want to use that one it's so glittery not knowing that the bottle is glittery the actual stuff is not but I think half of what got used was in that video my son drowned me in it and it was actually my face was soaking wet so if you haven't seen that video and you want a good laugh that's one you can definitely check out if you just want to kind of have some Snickers at our expense and that's why we did it so that is my main favorites I, these aren't the only products I use. These were the ones that I noticed that I reached for consistently or I when I redid my makeup basket, they ended up in it, things like that. I would love for you to post below what your favorites are, what you reach for consistently, or if your favorites have changed. Like, for example, I think every single favorite video has been the Too Faced, Born This Way, and the Fenty powder and for me. And now I exclusively reach for this peach one. I love it. I love the way it looks on my skin. I love when I do a makeup, no makeup look that it really blends in and just doesn't take away from the look. So I would love to hear what your favorites are or if any of them recently changed. Did you try a new product? Did you try a new primer? Like, what are you using? And I would love if you post it below. And then also, if you've made it this far, it would really make my day if you would subscribe and ring the bell for notifications as we upload every Sunday and Thursday. And we do love to do them in, the, in between when we have extra information to post, such as I'm getting a new beauty box this week that I've never subscribed to. And I probably will do a video this week because I'm very excited about it. I don't know if you've used it, but I got the tribe box coming and I'm very excited. So I hope that you lasted this long. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, click like. That helps us out in our ratings and our rankings on YouTube. And whether you're watching this in the morning, the evening, or the weekend, I hope that you have a fantastic day.